Okay, now come back here. Uh, today we will learn about spherical mirror. Remember, we have plane mirror and spherical mirror. But today we are going to learn about spherical mirror. Okay, spherical mirror. So spherical mirrors can be either concave mirror or convex mirror. Okay, concave or convex. There are two types of spherical mirrors. Okay, this is concave mirror. Okay, you can see this is actually, uh, originally we have a, a spherical shape here. Okay, this is spherical shape, but we only take this part. So this is the mirror. Okay, here's, here's the mirror. And you can see here the shading part here is the back of the mirror. Okay, and we have another one which is convex mirror. Okay, this is convex mirror. So this is the mirror and the shaded part here is the back of the mirror. So I hope you can see the difference. Okay, I hope you can see the difference. Okay, you have a, a spoon. So there are two surfaces of the spoon. Okay, you can see it, if it curves inwards, so that is the concave surf, surface. When it curves outward, so that is the convex surface. It's just like convex mirror. And concave, concave surface is just like a concave mirror. Okay, uh, this is plane mirror. Plane mirror means the, the mirror is flat. This is just like your uh, mirror at home where you can look at yourself when you want to run comb on your hair, then you need a mirror so that usually we use plane mirror. And then we have concave mirror like this. Okay, this is concave mirror. So concave mirror, very narrow field of vision. And we have another one which is convex mirror. And usually convex mirror is used on the roadside, especially uh, at the sharp corner where you cannot see on the other side. So we use wide field vision to reflect any object from the other side of the road where you cannot see it. Okay, that is one application of convex mirror. Okay, the next thing we need to see is the diagram of a uh, spherical mirror. Okay, this is concave mirror. Okay, you see that when light, which is parallel, okay, pay attention to the light here. Do you notice that they are parallel? You notice that they are parallel. Okay, the light which comes from here are parallel. Okay, when the light ray parallel to principal axis, what will happen to the light? The light will be reflected. Okay, it will be reflected towards focal point. You understand or not? Okay, understand or not? Okay, let's try one more time from the bottom. If we have light which is parallel to principal axis, this is the principal axis, it will be reflected towards focal point. Understand? Okay, that is why we have all light will be focused over here if it is parallel to principal axis okay actually that is the first rule 
you need to learn about it. Okay, but for this case, when light is parallel to principal axis, you can see the light is parallel to principal axis, it will be reflected outward like this. But it seems to be originated from, from focal point also. Okay, you see that? Okay. Okay, so I hope you understand this. And then, uh, okay, actually we have three rules. Okay, here are the rules. Okay, uh, look carefully, then we are going to apply this. Okay, pay attention to this one first. We are going to learn about concave mirror. Here's the concave mirror. Okay, so 